Hey guys, Billy and Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. So I've just finished the service, fished out with the nuts, and now I'm on to the cleaning. So here is the car outside. This is a serious car was cleaned about two years ago. It's looking pretty good still. It's got a bit of dust and stuff on it. Uh, probably the biggest area of um, dirt will be on the wheels and on the roof. You see this like uh, here. We've got some soft top cleaner. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna snow foam it, rinse it, um, and then bring it inside once the car's done, the roof's done, the wheel's done. Then bring it back inside, give it a buff over, and uh, away we go. Let's do this. Stage of the wash now complete. So, uh, got all the grime and road dirt and dust and whatever off it. I've given the roof a first coat of stuff and then I've rinsed it off. Um, when it gets in the garage, I'm gonna put a second coat on and uh, I'm gonna leave it overnight. You can see it's it's lifted some of that. That's not very nice. So, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. The wheels are done. That's all done. Uh, you've got a couple of marks and stuff on here, which is where the, um, the cover's been rubbing. Yeah, we'll get it in the garage, dry it all down, um, and then I'll go over it and wax it and polish it and whatnot, make it all nice for dad again. Uh, I'm not going to go to the full extremes of clay barring and compounding and such like but I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna make it clean shine and so yeah next step in the garage <laughs> Right, it's the following morning, so I'm going to continue on with cleaning the paintwork on this car. Now, last night I applied the Auto Gleam Soft Top Cleaner. Um, now, it says to leave it on overnight. It does say to cover it in a in a plastic thing to make it work better. And actually, it's come up really well. Um, there's a little patch in the middle I'm not particularly happy with. But overall, the roof itself is... It's quite much, much cleaner. So I'm just going to get it outside now. I have just put a wet, um, the wet sponge on this bit in the middle, so it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to get it outside now. I'm going to rinse it off, and I'm going to bring the car back in with the roof still damp, and then put on the soft top protector, and then continue working my way through the car. So that's the first job to carry out this morning. <laughs>
Right, so a slight change of plans of what I was going to do. So I was just going to give it a quick polish and then a, a bit of a buff up. Um, but there's quite a few marks on... You can see these in the light, maybe. Maybe not. So there's a couple of marks like, across the panels. Um, front wings across the bonnet. Rear quarters across the boot. Um, from what I can only believe to be the... Um, the car cover. Um, it's where it's got the inside straps for support, which is great, but it's um, it's just rubbing on the paintwork a little bit. So I've gone over it with a compound, lifted quite a lot of those marks out. Um, I've done basically the, the driver's side of the car. So I'm gonna, now going to um, polish it, and I'm going to do a liquid wax finish, um, and then I'll move on to the other side. So I've done basically just beyond halfway so when i do the other side i just do just beyond halfway and then i'll buff the other side up um finish wise it's a nice smooth glass finish this side it's a bit rough that side so i'm i'm yes it's taking a lot longer it's very hot in here but um i think it's definitely worthwhile um so yeah i think the thing i'll do then is i'll i'll do the wheels this side i'll try and find some valve caps for these as well because someone's kindly pinch all the valve caps um i'll do the wheels and tires i'll polish and wax the side and then i'll get the car outside turn it around and reverse it back in so i can get access to the other side of the car um that to me i think will be the best way to do it and uh yeah Whew. it's hot really really hot in here so yeah the car's been done i don't know if you can you see that mark just here I can't seem to get it out, um, but I've, I've reduced it quite a lot. I've tried different finishes of pads and um, going back and forth and back and forth and nothing seemed to really do anything. So, um, I mean, the only other way that I know to do that would be to actually flat the, the paintwork and then polish it that way, which I'm not that confident in doing. So um, I'm going to leave it like this for now. And then at some point in the future, if we want to do that, we can then look into doing it and I can speak to the guys at work and get some pointers and stuff and maybe have a, a bit of a session with them to sort of learn the trade as such. But anyway, it's looking really good. I'm going to keep going now. We have done a roof clean, a roof protect, so that's looking much better. There are still marks in it, but I'm not sure I can get them out without going crazy with a jet wash um, or using some other products. I've cleaned the wheels and tyres, I've cleaned the car, it's had a, uh, a contactless wash, it's had a contact wash, um, the cobweb there, you can go away. Um, and. It's then been ultimate compounded, ultimate polish, and the next step is to give it a liquid wax, which is a final stage coat, just to give it the protection. Now it looks looking absolutely fantastic, I think. I'll just get outside so I can do the final stage. Uh, when the wheels and tyres are done, they're looking pretty good. Um, 
there's a couple of marks on the body where I just cannot get out for love nor money. Um, now, there's on the front wing around here somewhere, which you can only see it in certain light and I can't see it out here. So that's, that's good, but I know it's there and it's bugging me a little bit. Um, the, the cleaning is nearly finished. I've got the windows to do, I've got the interior to do, got the liquid wax to do and then I can deliver it back to my dad. So yeah, let's get going. So all of the products so far in Meguiar's, I've now come on to do the windows and I'm using a Easy Car Care Clarity 2.0, which is a window cleaner. So Spray. Just... And uh, once it's been sprayed on, piece of blue roll right, it's a really simple I think I might put a bit too much on <laughs> but it's a uh, it's a great product does a really nice job of uh, cleaning the windows quickly and keeping them clean as well so any glass on the car will get this treatment both inside and out and then I'll go over the paintwork uh, once I finish this, I put this one before I do the liquid wax because, uh, as you can see, there's bits of uh, stuff that's been sprayed onto the bodywork. And once the stuff's done, I don't really want to wipe it off. Now it smears when it dries. It dries really clear, so you can see. <coughs> So we're going to do the other side. Um, you can see Dad's had some sort of sat-nav device up here, or maybe this phone holder. Uh, and the best thing is, if we do this, and it doesn't leave smears in the windows, which is great. Although my OCD would not allow me to leave it like that. So I typically go up and down, left and right. Leave it to settle itself. Right, engine bay is now done. Had some back to black and all the black trim work, so that's looking really good. The whole car has been given a liquid wax. Looking really, really nice. So next up, and last but not least, is the interior. So I'm gonna hoover the carpet, spruce up the dash, give the, uh, the seats a bit of a vinyl wipe as well, and then uh, shut it all up and get it delivered back to my dad. Right, and there we have it, the car is finished. So the inside was done with this Easy Car Care sleek interior trim cleaner and dressing. So it's ideal for trim work, vinyl work, leather work, um, woodwork. This is a bit of an all round interior product and it smells fantastic. Give it a sniff. See, it smells great. Um, so on the inside, it's all done. Hoovered. Looking pretty fantastic. I even uh, brushed some stripes into the carpets just for an added touch. And now I finish. It's just started raining. You swine.
have it. The car is now clean. It's been serviced. The fault on the engine has been hopefully rectified. I'm going to find out in a minute when I take it for a road test. But I think my dad's going to be really happy with this finish. If he's not, well, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so the car here, as you can see, is looking absolutely fantastic. So this car has been treated to multiple stages of cleaning. So it had a um, completely contactless wash to start with. It was rinsed down. It was given a snow foam. So that was the first stage, rinse and snow foam. Then it was given a contact wash. Um, sponge gone over the whole car, getting rid of any last bits and dirt and whatnot. Once the car was um, done, and then dried the car, and then came into the garage, it was given an ultimate compound with a Meguiar's product. It was then given ultimate polish which was a Meguiar's product, and then the finish touch on the bodywork was the um, liquid wax, which was a Canuba product from Meguiar's. I think it's called liquid gold. Um, the wheels have been treated to a, um, I've got a universal wheel cleaner and then a universal um, tyre shine as well, and they look pretty good. This side here was done like three or four days ago. This side here was done this morning. I really like the, uh, I really like the wet look of the tyres. Um, the roof was treated to the auto gleam um soft top cleaner followed by the soft top protector um still a bit of marks on there but i'm i'm going to try it again a couple more times um throughout the summer and hopefully we can get to grips with that the windows were done in the clarity 2.0 which is an easy clean product and then the inside was done in a um easy clean uh sleek which again smells great and does a really good job of the interior so that's now done oh i forgot engine bay was treated to back to black and um that then looks pretty cool as well um so yeah car's all done i'm really happy with the results um i'm sure my dad's gonna be happy i'm gonna take the car back to him now i've just got a couple more jobs to do before i leave um which in this video will already be done because that's reset the service light and turn off the engine management light um and yeah thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this content please as always consider becoming a subscriber to the channel giving it a thumbs up comment down below and uh, all being well i shall see you in the next one thank you so much i like this car we'll see you guys next time take it easy